I love Amanda. I love her enthusiasm. I love her energy. And she's really all about being here today. For her finally to have her dream come true, I really think that this is going to take her further. I loved how simple Richard went with the set today. As far as I know about Jessica Biel, she's that girl next door who's hot. So I'm going to play up on that. Just the girl next door, your dream girl next door. It's going to be great. I'm really pumped up. <laughs> She's just flabbergastic about it. Introducing the fabulous Amanda as Jessica Biel. That's it. That's it. Hold that. Amanda really pulled out all the stops when she got in front of that camera. Nice. Nice. That's it. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's great. Hold that right there. Down a little. Reach your eyes. Relax your shoulders. That's it. Feel a little more on one leg. I think she did an absolutely sensational job. She may have been nervous, but you know what? Didn't show. I mean, this girl really aspires to get into modeling. Amanda was beautiful out there. I couldn't believe it was her. I think she had a great time, and it showed in the pictures. People were cheering. There was a newfound Amanda. It fills you up with such pride to know that's your daughter doing what she's wanted to do all her life. All your way over to the next shot. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it. Hold that, yeah. You're doing awesome. That's it. Perfect. Put that right there. All right, let's go for the big smile. Couple left. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. We got it. Oh, my the makeup, hair, wardrobe, it's just, that's me. Wow, that's me. I couldn't believe the pictures. I mean, they're so amazing. Oh, yeah. I like that. She just seemed like a real natural with the camera, really played up with it, knew what to, you know, how to look, and, you know, really looked spontaneous. Like, this is a dream come true. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Thank oh, you honey. so much. And it was such a pleasure. When we come back, the makeover team recaps the day and offers a few tips on capturing Jessica's wholesome Hollywood appeal. Okay, that was a fun day, wasn't it? That yeah, was an was. amazing day. An amazing. How much fun did you have? Oh, I had so much fun. More fun than I've ever had. At first, with the photo shoot, I was a bit nervous. But, you know, with the music and everyone clapping and the enthusiasm, I was comfortable. I felt really comfortable afterwards. Biggest change, I think, for me today was definitely the hair. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, w I had a, it was a great fun day for me because we really got to do something different. The thing I liked most about today was the hair. Going from blonde to brunette with the cappuccino highlights just made a, a difference. Uh, my hair is a lot more shinier, looks a lot more healthier. When you're going from blonde to brown, which we did today, we're able to do that in one step, generally speaking. Unless the blonde's extremely over lightened, then sometimes we have to use what we call a filler. But it's a pretty easy process. Uh, it's basically just about going back to brown, and we put a few cappuccino highlights in there to, to keep it natural looking. The makeup, not to wear as much makeup. And, you know, I could still look just as good. What did you learn, if anything, today about your makeup? Not to wear as much makeup. The, exactly. I think the natural look. Sheer, sheer. Especially when you have young, beautiful skin like yours, even mature skin, whatever type of skin you have, it's the objective with makeup is to, is to enhance. It's not to cover, it's not to camouflage what's there, it's to enhance it. So we're talking about sheer coverage foundation. How do you find a foundation that doesn't have like a really super strong coverage? It's gonna say sheer on the bottle. I'm happy I was able to share this experience with her. I feel like I'm a really lucky friend and you know, I really want to be there to support her for everything she can do and anything that she'll do in the future with television. So I know that she will make it. 
I thought you did a great job and the contouring was really got me. It's unbelievable mm -hmm. how much you look like Jessica Biel. I'm going to take home a lot of tips with makeup and hair and also wardrobe that I can wear more than black. And I noticed with you out there when you started trying on a few outfits because you were saying before that you love wearing black. Yes. <laughs> Just because you have a courageous body doesn't mean that you can't try color. And especially white. White is a difficult color to wear. But it all depends on the cut. It was a real good experience to watch her go out there, actually see what the show's about, how it's made, you know, watch, you know, the makeover itself. I have a question from Jane Ramirez from Phoenix, Arizona. It says, hi, Alicia. I was told I have a 36C bus line, but my bras never fit. Any ideas? Well, Jane, she can go to her local lingerie boutique or any great department store, and there's a woman there that will be able to properly measure her so she'll have a proper fit in her bras. 90% of women out there have ill-fitting bras or wear ill-fitting bras. Best pictures that I've ever been able to take. I mean, I look so much like Jessica Biel. They did such a great job. I couldn't believe it was me. When I looked at that set, before we started taking pictures, I was thinking, you know, that's, it doesn't look like much. But when I saw it in the camera lens, it's like, that's mm -hmm. a kicking set. It was amazing. It was amazing.